morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHTS. Host Fred Arnold on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm joined by my good friend Alex Urbina. Alex Urbina is a life coach. He's my coach. He's a great, great person, great human being, very wise when it comes to living a purpose, purpose-filled life. And uh, he's currently working on the book, The Conscious Dad. And he hosts the show, My Conscious Dad, on Fridays. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I know that you're comfortable in the studio, but I wanted to get you in specifically to those, those listening, those, especially the salespeople that are going to be listening to this um, in the mortgage and real estate business that I'm involved in. Because we get so wrapped up in, in what we do every day, Alex, um, making a living, helping borrowers get into homes, that sometimes we, we become unconscious. Yeah, you know, I, when, it, when you immerse yourself into a world of sales and your job is to open up possibilities, create value for people to have them want to make a decision to either buy something, um, you know, you learn all these different techniques of how to get people to want to choose you to either sell them something or be a part of um, helping them move into a new home or whatever, whatever that, that part of you in sales is. And we forget sometimes how to turn that part off when we come back home. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of what I do is helping people become conscious and being authentic. If you can discover your authentic self, your authentic self can go out and be a salesperson. You can go out and sales from the authenticity, from the love, compassionate, vulnerable, uh, funny, uh, enthusiastic, excited, passionate. If you can master all those different ways of being in your authentic self, you can sell anything to anybody. Versus... A lot of the sales skills that we've learned. It's all egotistical. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of your ego learns how to uh, do all the porcupine techniques and all these little things that you go to these seminars and they teach you. um, Those are all these tools that they've taught how to teach the masses and the masses usually is unconscious and, and egotistical. I don't mean it like an arrogant way, but it's just that it's, it's, it's how to do sales rather than being attractive and being uh, authentic and being the, the draw to have people want to use you to, to make that sale for them. I don't want to buy this house without using this person. I don't want to make this decision without this person. And when Yeah, because you make me feel good. When I'm with you, you're talking about my family, you're talking about my kids, and I know it's authentic. I know you're going to find the home for me that is you when when you're thinking when you're looking for homes for me and you call me i know you already know you're visualizing my son in the backyard Mm -hmm. you know playing ball and playing catch with him and you know it's it's authentic i know that you care and i know that it matters and it's real it's not a front that you're putting up and so that's a little bit of of waking up and having that conscious part of you and being a conscious dad i think is an extraordinary experience one of the things i had to learn when i first started on radio and jerry had taught me this was i was always looking to ask the next question Right? I wasn't really conscious of what the person was saying, but some of the best interviews I've ever done were back and forth, where I'm listening to every word you're saying, That's right. and we get rid of the script, unless we have to go back, we get rid of the questions, but we talk about what's most relevant to, to the topic. And I think that happens in sales too. Forget what the next question is. Hear what they're saying. Hear the details of why somebody's moving. Listen to the emotional side of why someone's making a decision, not okay, let's go to the next step in the sales process. Well, we listen from two parts. If we listen from our mind, your mind is already trying to think of an answer or a question, and you're not present and listening to what's next. Mm -hmm. If you're listening from your spirit, your spirit is 100% engaged and hanging on every word you're saying. And your spirit trusts that when you're done with your final word, that it can generate a question or generate a response right on the spot. Your brain doesn't know it can do that. So it's already thinking ahead, which has you checked out in the first place. Right. You're not really present and listening to everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's because you're always thinking, you're thinking about the next question. That's right. Because your head's going, okay, what's next? What's right, next? right. Yeah. How do I keep this going? Oh, my God. It's all operating on, on fear and not worrying, not allowing you to be present in the moment, engaged, uh, deeply listening and intent w- with intention and right there in the moment. Yeah. And, and think about some of the best interviews you had were the ones that... 20 minutes down the road, you're, still, you're just going back and forth and enjoying each other's company. You haven't sold anything, but they're already going to buy from you. That's right, because you're creating a relationship. Yeah. You're in that moment. You're creating a powerful moment. Mm-hmm. You're engaged. You're into them. They're into you. You're being interested in them. People want and you are yearning for you to be interested in them, but they want it from a compassionate, authentic, higher level of consciousness place. They don't they don't want to. F- they don't want to feel that you're just doing the do. That you're you're just reading a script or you've memorized a script. And believe me, I've I've met a lot of salespeople through the years, and I can tell 
who who have who's mastered all the sales techniques so where it it's it can fool the average person about being authentic but you can tell there's there's something missing there's something golden missing in their in their in the tone yeah yeah and they're looking for the next step let me ask you in, in a business setting i always thought it um appropriate to ask do you mind if i take some notes because it, it requires you to especially many of us who are influencers who are excited about talking Writing it down really helps us remember it. It also shows that we care about the conversation. That's tell, one. Tell me about that's your one, thoughts. That's one that. way to look at it. Yeah. Tell, tell me what your thoughts are because I, I always th think if somebody says they have two kids, if I don't write that down, if I don't, if I don't put that down, if I don't kind of document a little bit of what they're headed, boy, it, it becomes very difficult to remember. It tells me it. It depends on how you tee it up. If you told me, Alex, you know what? I'm getting old and I'm getting older <laughs> and my memory's not as sharp as it used to be. And yeah. so if I can take notes, because these are things that are important to me, I want to be able to jot down some things. Then I'm okay. Then, then now you got me like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm off the notepad and I'm, and I get that you're writing it down because it's something that you need to, to remember so that, that it's important. But if you don't tee it up like that, it leaves it open for me to interpret that now you, your game plan, you could have a game plan now, taking notes down so that it could be part of your game plan to sell me. It becomes part of that versus timeshare people do it all the right. time. Right. But, but authentic people, authentic people, um, they don't need to write it down, whether how sharp or not they are. They remembered little Tommy, little Jennifer, and your wife, Margaret. It just, it's, it's because I'm authentic, I'm present, and, and I care, and, and you matter to me. And so I'm just going to remember those things. Got it. Well, those that want to listen. Fridays. Fridays. My conscious dad. It's uh, driven by my 20-year-old daughter, and uh, we have an awesome conversation on the air about our relationships and owning up to some of our faults and uh, inspiring each other and coaching each other, each other on how to be creating extraordinary relationships with e with ourselves. Yeah, Alex Urbina. Those who want to reach out to you, alexurbina.com, or you can always also reach me out here at KHTS, your hometown station. I'm going to ask you to come back in the next hour. Let's do it. Because the next hour I want to talk, when you get home from work and you're in sales and you're in, and you're in the moment, how do you turn it off and how do you be present at home and be conscious? You got be it. Be conscious, Ted. You listen to the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. Show's Fred Arnold on AM 1220 KHTS.